A vessel engaged in dredging or underwater operations, when the vessel has restricted ability to manoeuvre, shall show the following lights and shapes when underway or at anchor. During the night, the following lights: red, white, red, all round lights in a vertical line where they can best be seen. In addition, if the vessel is underway and making way through the water, she shall also display the masthead light or lights, side and stern lights for a vessel of her size. By day, the ship will display three black shapes in a vertical line. The highest and lowest shall be balls, and the middle a diamond. When an obstruction exists, the ship will also display. Two all-round red lights, or by day two balls, indicating the side on which the obstruction exists. Two all-round green lights, or two diamonds by day, indicating the side where vessels may pass. Sound signal in restricted visibility, underway or at anchor. One long blast followed by two short blasts at intervals of not more than two minutes. A vessel engaged in diving operations. If a vessel engaged in diving operations is not big enough to show lights and shapes according to the rules for vessels engaged in underwater operations, then they may show three all-round lights: red, white, red, in a vertical line where they can best be seen. During the day, a rigid replica of the International Code Flag A. Not less than one meter in height, taking care to ensure its all-round visibility. Extract from Rule 27: Vessels engaged in dredging and underwater operations. Extract from Rule 35: Sound signals in restricted visibility. Extract from Rule 27: Vessels not under command or restricted in their ability to maneuver. D. A vessel engaged in dredging or underwater operations, when restricted in her ability to maneuver, shall exhibit the lights and shapes prescribed in subparagraph B, one, two, and three of this rule, and shall, in addition, when an obstruction exists, exhibit one, two all-round red lights or two balls in a vertical line to indicate the side on which the obstruction exists. Two, two all-round green lights or two diamonds in a vertical line. To indicate the side on which another vessel may pass. Three, when at anchor, the lights or shapes prescribed in this paragraph, instead of the lights or shape prescribed in Rule 30. E, whenever the size of a vessel engaged in diving operations makes it impracticable to exhibit all lights and shapes prescribed in paragraph D of this rule, the following shall be exhibited: one, three all-round lights in a vertical line where they can best be seen. The highest and lowest of these lights shall be red, and the middle light shall be white. Two, a rigid replica of the international code flag A, not less than one meter in height. Measures shall be taken to ensure its all-round visibility. Extract from Rule 35: Sound signals in restricted visibility. In or near an area of restricted visibility, whether by day or night. The signals prescribed in this rule shall be used as follows: A, a power-driven vessel making way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes one prolonged blast. B, a power-driven vessel underway but stopped and making no way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes two prolonged blasts in succession with an interval of about two seconds between them. C. A vessel not under command, a vessel restricted in her ability to maneuver, a vessel constrained by her draft, a sailing vessel, a vessel engaged in fishing, and a vessel engaged in towing or pushing another vessel, shall, instead of the signals prescribed in paragraphs A or B of this rule, sound at intervals of not more than two minutes three blasts in succession, namely one prolonged followed by two short blasts. F. 
When a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed ahead are rigidly connected in a composite unit, they shall be regarded as a power-driven vessel and shall give the signals prescribed in paragraphs A or B of this rule.